What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to introduce you guys to a free asset in the Adobe library that's absolutely free to use called Adobe Color. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So this is all web-based. As you can see right now, I'm actually on Adobe Color. So if you want to come here, all you have to do is go to color.adobe.com. And this is the screen that's going to come up here. So right off the bat, you can see exactly what this is. We have our color wheel here, and then it actually gives us a color palette depending on what we choose up here in our color wheel. So let's say that we're having trouble kind of figuring out how we want to have our color set for our design. So if we just scroll these little dots around here on our color wheel, it's giving us a color palette that will actually be a good starting point for our designs here. So the cool thing about this is we can set up our colors right off the bat and then say that we want to see what it looks like with complementary colors. If we look here on the left hand side, we can actually click on complementary and it will give us a different set of color palettes here. And the same thing with monochromatic, you click this there and you still have access to moving all these around here. So this is a really valuable tool for all, you know, all of us artists out here that sometimes we want to have a color palette right off the bat that we want to make everything look cohesive. And this is exactly the type of tool that you want to need in your arsenal to get everything looking nice and neat and pretty. So all you have to do is experiment with these different options here on the left hand side. We have split complementary, etc, etc. So let's say that maybe we have like a mood board and we have an image that we found on the internet that we really like and we want to pull colors from that. We can actually come over here to where it says extract theme. So if I click on this, we can actually drag and drop an image into this folder here. So I'm going to go actually get to my desktop because I have an image here and I'm just going to click and drag this image into here. And as quick as that, you can see that it pulled up a color palette. It gave us some dots here that we can actually move around. And so this is really cool here. We can extract different color palettes based off of where we have this pointed. So this gives us a cool color palette here. Then if I click on bright, you know, it gives us a different color palette down here. So it gives us a whole plethora of different options down here, which is really cool in itself. And so let's say that we wanted to actually extract a gradient from this and have it save into Photoshop. All we have to do is click right here where it says extract gradient right here. And so we're actually just going to pull this over let's say we want to have our gradient go from like this deep purple to that blue to like this green and we can actually drag it right here with our dots here and just move these over for the gradient fall off right here as well and you can see up here in the upper right hand corner is giving us our gradient and what it would look like if we were signed into our creative cloud so this is free to use but if you do have a creative cloud account we can actually save this right here and then we'll actually save it into our creative cloud library so you can easily pull it up inside of photoshop i'm not signed in right now because i'm on a different computer but i just wanted to show you guys that because that's actually really cool and if you wanted to replace the image you would just click on that and you would just start all over again and then this is actually new. This is accessibility tools. So if I click on this, this actually gives us some cool contrast ratios that we can fool around with. So let's say if I want to have like text be like red and the client wants your background for whatever reason to be green, we could come over here and we can see like our contrast ratio, what it would look like. And it's telling us that it will probably fail. This is pretty hard to read here. So it's going to give us suggestions here on the right hand side. So let's say we click apply here and this is going to actually give us a better contrast ratio. So if we wanted to read this text over this color background, this is the text color that you're going to want to go with. And it actually gives you the text color code right here as well. So all you have to do is copy that and then paste it into Photoshop or After Effects or Premiere or whatever application you seem to be using. And the last thing that I think is really cool with this is we actually have a mode for colorblind people now. So if I come over here to tools and click on contrast checker, we can click on colorblind safe and this will actually give us. So let's say I want to have our color palette somewhere around here. If you can see down below, it's actually giving us colors that will correlate for people that are colorblind. So like if we have this like purplish pink color here, this is simulating different levels of colorblindness here. And so this is giving you a good ratio of how you can mute your colors to kind of make it easier for people to have colorblindness to see your projects. So hopefully you guys found this to be useful. This is something that you can add to your arsenal just to make you a better artist. If you did find this helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave me a big thumbs up. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.